Okay, so I'm going to be showing you two different mods that you can do. Two, they're pretty much the easiest ones that you can do. Um, things you'll need is a set of alligator clips, um, the controller, batteries of course, extra batteries if you need it. You're going to need some um, 24 to 30 gauge wire. I, I'd go with 30 gauge, smallest it fits better on the panel. Um, soldering iron, some solder, pretty thin if you want, works better. Momentary push button with two prongs and some LEDs. On um, the ones for the rings, you know, like first player, second player, third player is um, 0603 um, mount. S and D LEDs, which are pretty cheap, um, like only 50 cents each, but and they're pretty bright. Um, but for stuff like that, I'll post it in a different video. And then, so what you're gonna do is in the next video, I'm not gonna open up this controller, but this one's already done. It just doesn't have my rapid fire on it. That's on a different controller. Um, in another video, I'm gonna open up a controller and show you where you solder this stuff. All right, so. That's all the stuff you need. Um, so, this is my mod controller right now. It's my first LED one. It's kind of indented because I had wire too big, and usually that's like out up here, the guide button, but it's kind of indented. But all these other buttons are out, and you know, like. And yeah, working fine. Um, yeah. And it, the guide button still works, it's just you kind of have to push it down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so, when I put in the batteries, this is what it looks like. It's actually really bright red, but the lighting isn't really good. See that? Now, when I turn it on. So yeah, it's pretty sick. And then, the search button and it kind of lights up the entire thing like around it you know it's like where it's player one and stuff so it's pretty cool and then if you hit it again I don't know right, but it doesn't take out the batteries so even when the controller is not on it's on and I'll show you how to do this unless you want it to be rumble activated just comment and yeah, so message me. And I can do this to your controllers if you want. Or just tell you how to do it for free. <laughs>